Yo, what's up? In this quick video, I'm going to be talking about the steps that I'm taking to resolve an issue that I'm currently having with the Bobcat Minor 300 being able to pair it between my cell phone and the Minor. And I can tell you right now, I've I've personally had this problem for about five months and I've been able, unable to get any rewards from helium mining, which is, is you know, it's kind of sucked a little bit because I got two miners here, haven't been able to, to really make anything, but hopefully this video will help anybody else that's having this problem. So this is somebody uh, that was, that I found on YouTube that is also having that same problem and you can see based on his screen here you can see that uh the he he has it written right here where it says helium bobcat miner unable to uh, bluetooth network diagnostic and that's the exact same thing that was happening to me when i would try to use my cell phone to connect to the bobcat miner it would not connect so what I ended up doing, I spent countless hours trying to reset my modem, trying to restart my router, uh, even trying different phones, and none of that worked. None of it. I, and I say hours, but it was more like days. I just tried and tried and tried, and it would not work. So, you know, eventually I went over to Twitter and I found the uh, the Bobcat. Uh, Twitter handle and I started communicating with them and pretty much what they told me to do was to uh, open up the diagnos uh, diagnoser that's what they call it but even with trying to do that I'm not able to do that either when I enter in my IP address for my minor it just doesn't work so I let them know that, and then they sent me over to the customer service portal. And once I got to the customer service portal, this is the page, and uh, I'll make sure to, to have all of this in the description of this video too, so you can use it. But um, yeah, so I went to this page, I filled out the information, name, order, order number, all of this, and uh, I selected tech support. Now, when you select tech technical support, it pulls down this additional information here. And uh, you just want to fill this out to the best of your ability. And then once you fill this out, you also want to make sure that you are a member of the, um, the Bobcat Discord server if you are able to do that, which uh, I did that. And then after you do that, you just press send. Now, when you press send, you're going to get an email or a series of email from Bobcat. And, it's, you know, the first few emails are going to be automated emails just saying that they received your ticket. But um, I got to say, they respond very quickly. Uh, this, these are the emails that I received, uh, just this morning, as you can see, one, 1 AM, 2 AM, 4 AM. So they've really been working on the issue and I'm going to click on one of these here. So it says here, this is from Lucy. It says, hi, Jason. Thank you for contacting us. We are aware of the fact that some hotspots are are having issues updating the firmware. If your firmware is on 1.0.0.9 or any versions prior to 1.0.2.3.0, uh, please fill out this form with our requested info in correct format. So <clears throat> basically what they're saying is, this isn't a problem that you can fix on your own they actually have to get involved because for whatever reason, these Bobcat miners, at least some of them did not automatically update the firmware to the newest version. And that's what's causing the sync issue between 
the phone and the miner when you're trying to do it through Bluetooth. So once you click on this form, it brings you to this page and it says hotspots without dated firmware collection form. So basically it lets you know that uh, this is of course a known occurrence and they're not gonna be taking any DMs anymore about the issue. And this is where you'll go to resolve it. So you fill out all of this information here, which is pretty much the same info as before on the um, technical support page, you fill out your discord name, uh, email address, hotspot name, and you fill out all of this information. And then you press submit. And what happens is, is they add you to a list of people that they'll be, I guess, automate automatically logging in and doing the firmware update. And uh, they said that it takes about 48 hours to do this. What I can tell you is that I sent my email at, uh, I want to say it was maybe, I don't know, maybe 1 a.m., 12 a.m., something like that. And I have a miner. I have two miners. And one of those miners is already completely green. So it's back syncing on the network. I haven't seen that in, like I said, four or five months. And I'm highly confident that now I'll be able to do what I have to do with regards to setting up my miners to be mining again. So I hope that this helps uh, anybody who, who uh, is suffering from the same issue. And uh, like I said, I, what I'll do is I will place this document uh, as well as other information in the description of this video so that um, you know you can solve your issue a lot quicker than I did. Uh, again, this is your boy, Crazy J. Have a blessed day, and thank you for watching this video. Peace out.